All right, Pisces, here we go. This is an energy update for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It is a, well, soulmate energy, of course, Steve Love Tarot. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. No doubt about it. Let me just adjust my fan here. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Now, in my pre-shuffle, I shuffled before I hit the record button. I knew I was doing Pisces today. I've been seeing fish everywhere today. <laughs> Literally, I, I think I'm even eating fish later. Uh, I got the, uh, in my pre-shuffle, the King of Cups for why I'm here. This is somebody who feels a full cup of love for you, but uh, probably hasn't really expressed it much, if at all. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Let's see where this is going. Uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Soulmate energies. Wow. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we're ready to cut. <laughs> Before we cut, I got the two of cups at the bottom. Somebody wants to... Two soulmates, the universe is itself is even trying to force this. Two soulmates are coming together here, whether anybody likes it or not. That's the message I got. And somebody's got a wall up. Nine of wands after the cut. Somebody's got themselves a wall. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A little... That king of cups is very difficult. They feel a full cup of love, but they don't always express it. Don't always, they're not very good with emotional confrontations, emotional conversations. One of those people who's got to be drunk to talk about emotions, kind of a thing. As an example, I'm not saying that's your person. I'm just saying as an example. And proof of that is the uh, card, of, our overall energy for the reading. The card at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. Someone who just, it, it, it just self sabotages this thing, talks themselves right out of it is afraid to come through, claims a victory anyway. Just anyway. Yay, victorious, I didn't talk to them. I didn't tell them how I felt. They actually feel victorious not telling you how, you, how they feel. Un underneath that, more proof. Four cups, clarifying that. I only go one deep in the uh, overall energy. Four cups, again, is a person who sees the cup being offered, but just refuses to look at it. I refuse, and they seem to, your person seems to think this is a victory when they don't have to express emotions. I think that's a loss myself, and I bet you do too. Right here is the energy around the connection. Right here is how your person feels and their emotions. Right here is how they feel about you. Right here is the hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know. You're going to find out through me. And right here is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, and if I think we need to extend this one, which I might, I feel this is pretty strong. I, this, this, this interests me. This and the Four of Cups, very interesting. If I do, you already know, there's a link in the description to the extended video. I make them for me, but if you want them, they're there for you. Let's go. What's the energy around this connection? Let's pull it together. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. A lot of destiny here. This person keeps turning their car where there ain't no place to turn on the road of destiny. They're supposed to turn down Maple Street, come to your house. Instead, they get about two blocks from Maple Street, and they turn their car into the woods and run it up on a rock and claim a victory. Yay. I don't know. I guess that's a victory if you enjoy going to the mechanic. There you go. There's your victory right here. There's a lot of destiny at play, but things are turning in your favor. I think they're coming out of this shit. I got communication here. I got the sun, Chatty Kathy, in front of the moon, Silent Bob. I got a bird, communication. This tells me when, when Wheel of Fortune falls in the uh, overall energy of the connection, or the, or the energy around the connection, I should say, um, things are turning in your favor here. I think they're coming out of this, but I'm not so sure if a person like this is in your favor or not. If they do it, what's, what's old Dr. Phil, Phil say? If they do it with you, they'll do it to you? Well, in this case, I'll swap it around. If they do it to you, they'll do it with you. You get my drift? Right here, um, how they feel in their emotions. Out in the cold. Of course they do. They ran their car in the damn woods. They feel out in the cold. They put themselves out in the cold by this. This, ah, victorious, I don't have to talk about my emotions. Yay, another day without talking to Pisces. That's not a victory, fool. Right here, out in the cold, that's how they feel. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, it tells me they want to come out of the cold. OK? 
okay? So how do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Seven of Wands, this has been coming up a lot today. Uh, I've been using a different deck all day. This is a new deck. Uh, I haven't used the animal deck yet today. And here it is, Seven of Wands. They're, again, it's the same message I've been getting all day off of this card. It's higher ground. It's someone who, again, with this, this whole reading is clarifying this overall energy, this Five of Swords. This is a person who feels some sort of victory when they don't have to express emotions. Probably because they've been hurt in the past. I don't know. We'll find out in the extended. I'm going to pull some psychology. I'm going to go all Dr. Phil on this person. But yeah, they're, they're staying. They feel like they have the higher ground if, if they're out in the cold. But yet they want to come out of the cold. Uh -huh. Very similar to the last reading we got, although it's better. They're getting better. This Wheel of Fortune fell in a nice place. This tells me that this shit is ending. This nonsense behavior. Uh, hidden energy. Red with this Wheel of Fortune. What is it? The yeah, magician. Um, <laughs> normally I'd say, well, some readers would say, they, they have all the tools they need. Um, it, no. Uh, normally I might say they're manifesting this. They're not. The universe itself is manifesting this. The, we, the, the magician off of the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of destiny. The, the magician right here tells me that the, that the karma between you two is manifesting you two to come together and pull them out of the cold. They're going to get dragged out of the cold. This person is going to talk to you whether they like it or not is what these two cards say. And I like that because I think they could use a talking to. It is not a victory to drive your car into the woods. Go up there on Maple Street and meet Pisces. They're very nice. Street name, Two Fish. Everybody knows Two Fish. Right here, Five of Pentacles, out in the cold, red with this final outcome. What is it? Yeah, communication. It's everything I just told you. I, sometimes I get backed up by the universe. Sometimes it throws egg in my face. Today, I'm not eating egg, people. This ain't my first reading today. Page of Pentacles. You are their happiness. They are, it's a card of communication. It's a card of fruitful dialogue. It is not a card of emotional communication. I think the universe is forcing this person to come out of the cold, but I think they're still going to claim some kind of victory when they just reach out to you and their Mr. and Mrs. Spock. And an immature, emotionally immature Spock too, but we see emotion, it's, it's emotional immaturity that's causing all this in the first place. Wow. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify. Why is it here? Jesus. Doing all this to two fish. Come on now. Pisces is cool. Pisces is my rising sign. It's cool. All right. That means I'm one and a half fish. All right. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune. Why is it here? Communication. This is exactly what I told you. These are all read together. Uh, the universe is forcing the communication. It's bringing you two together. It's communication that's going to come out of nowhere. It might even surprise them, and they're the one initiating it. And they're just going to be compelled to do it. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah. Uh, however, on their side, they're compelled to do it. <laughs> hey, this says two things. This is interesting. For some of you, your person's going to regret. This is the Five of Cups, the sad horse. This person's going to regret reaching out to you. Because I think a few of you are going to go all two fish on their ass and teach them a lesson or two, you know. But it also says that it is the regret for not having something with you, at least a friendship or something along those lines that is causing them to just, oh, all right, I'm going to do it and bring themselves in out of the cold. But really, I'm telling you, me, it's the universe underneath all of this. That's causing it to happen. The karma of your connection itself is bringing them in. Because the universe has had enough of this shit, too. You know, think about it. You're waiting to meet someone. You're up on Maple Imagine the universe is waiting to meet someone up on Maple Street. This person keeps dithering and dathering and screwing around. You're eventually just going to drive down and go get them and gra drag them back to Maple Street. That's kind of what the universe is doing right now. Uh, five of Pentacles, why is it here? Why are they out in the cold? Why'd they put themselves there? Well, they put themselves there, but 
Why are they out in the cold? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Fear. Four of Pentacles. Miser. The card of the miser. It's a fearful card. They're afraid of losing you, so they hold back. Stupid logic. I think that was the title of your last extended reading or someone's stupid logic. It's this person's stupid logic. If it wasn't yours, it was someone else's. Either way, this is stupid logic. I'm afraid to lose them, so I'm not going to approach them. And I'm going to claim a victory when I drive my car into the woods because I love going to the mechanic. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. And they know they're batshit crazy. Nine of Swords is self-induced. It's someone pacing the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, creating their own problems in their own mind with their own bullshit. And that's what's happening here. They put themselves out in the cold in the root card, the Five of Pentacles. We always put ourselves out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. We did something stupid, even if it's related to money. We, we made a bad investment. Okay, Five of Pentacles will show up if you make a bad investment. But you did that to yourself. You didn't do the research. Or you did and your research was wrong. You put yourself out in the cold. You lost your own damn money. You did something stupid. Right here, with love, they put themselves out in the cold out of fear because they don't want to lose you. Stupid logic. I don't want to lose them, so I'm going to hold back. And they know that they're batshit crazy. And they tell themselves stories about, okay, and to, to, to look, the energies match. The backgrounds match. It's tied to this Five of Swords where they're claiming all this false victory. It's a false, uh, yay, I didn't, I, I held back, yay. And they tell themselves stories about why that's good. And all it does in the end is leave them with this sad horse regret and loss. So the very thing they're afraid of happens. They're losing you. And the universe knows it. And there's still something you two need to learn from each other. So the universe itself underneath is using the karma of the connection to drag you two together. It's going to find some way to force them to communicate. They'll have to communicate. The equivalent of the ex-boyfriend going over to the girlfriend's car at night while she's sleeping and letting all the air out of her tire so that she has to call him the next morning to come and change the tire. That slick bastard. That's what the universe is doing to your person. It's that equivalent. I mean, that's an analogy. That's not what your person's doing. But that's what the universe is doing. It's forcing them to find some reason to contact you or to grow a pair, one or the other. Seven of Wands, right now, they're, they feel they got the higher ground. That's how they feel about you. Or maybe they feel you have the higher ground. The message is just higher ground around the card. I don't know. This is how they feel about you. And it's the Seven of Wands. They feel that you have the advantage here, which is probably actually that explains why they might be afraid of losing you. Yet they are losing you. So it's stupid logic. Let's see. Why is this seven of wands here? Ten of wands. Yeah, they feel like you have the higher ground. This is burden. You're heavy on their mind. They feel like maybe you block them and that's causing a burden. For some of you, you may have blocked this person. You may have set up some boundaries and that's causing some burdens to them. Mental burdens, emotional burdens. I don't know. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Mm -hmm. Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, uh, there's some sort of block going on here. They feel like you might be slipping away. You might be flying away. You might be gone. It might be too late. They might have already lost you. This is where the regret comes in. Because their fear is of losing you, so they hold back. Stupid logic. And then claim a victory that they held back. But in reality, they have a lot of regret. But they also feel... The universe, the universe itself might be using the karma to create this urgency that you're gone, which it knows will cause them to eight of wands reach out. It's possible. I could definitely feel it that way and read it that way. Let's see. Why is this magician here? I hear the universe nodding its head. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Steve's right. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I know. She's the universe. Universe and I are old friends. She's a fickle old gal, and yeah, she's a gal. Mm-hmm. You don't mess with the universe. Like that, like like that old blue bonnet commercial used to say back in the 70s, blue bonnet, margarine. Don't mess with Mother Nature. Right? Or one of those Imperial, or it was one of those margarines. I don't remember what it was. Magician. 
the Empress. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's the universe is forcing them to feel like you might be going away through either create causing you to create actions like blocking them or you to ignore them or something along those lines. And this person grows more and more fond of you with each passing moment, causing them to reach out. The Empress right here. Why is the Empress here? Knight of, Pentacle, uh, Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy. This person doesn't do anything quickly. They overthink, they tell themselves stories, and they claim victories for not reaching out emotionally. Um, this person also has a fear. This also tells me that I'm correct that in the fear that you might be gone. They know they took a long time. They know they dilly-dallied here. Okay, And the universe is using all this against them. I believe that's true. I believe that's the energy. I felt that energy before in the past. Mm -hmm. When you read energy, you try to remember, and I, I always keep a journal. I try to remember certain things because energy kind of has a taste to it almost. Not literally, but almost. And this tastes like somebody, the universe tricking somebody that they went too slow and you might be gone into communicating because you're awesome. Making you look even better than you are. I mean, I'm not saying you're not the empress, you're not, male or female, you're not spectacular. But I'm saying the universe itself is making you shine bright. See how this tree shines in the night here? Yeah. I see what's going on here. Page of Pentacles, why is it here? Let's get our final finals. Card of communication, they finally do reach out. I don't blame them. <laughs> you don't mess with Mother Nature. Mm-hmm. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah. They're going to... Strength. Bringing the rose, one of the roses from the Two of Cups in this deck. We already saw the Two of Cups earlier in the shuffle, before the cut, I believe. Uh, they're they're going to pull up their big girl, big boy pants. Put down these fears. It's red with these fears. The strength card's always rooted in fear. Okay? Because if you're trying to pull up your big boy, big girl pants to go do something, it implies that you're afraid of it. And here's the fear right here in the Four of Pentacles. They're going to, in our final outcome, pull up the big girl, big, big girl, big boy pants, get over the fear, and come out and reach out. I don't think it's going to be real lovey-dovey reach out, but they're going to reach out because the universe itself is dragging them to the damn pool and chucking them in it. Why is the strength here? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. To work on things. It is a very pentacle conversation. It is a very pentacle conversation. It's about straightening things out, ironing things out, and it is all for the purposes of making your person feel better about being a douche. That's really what it is. Uh-huh. I see that in the strength card. I see it all over the place, but it don't matter. If you want this person, once they feel better, perhaps it'll move on to something else. I don't know. We're going to find out. Perhaps it'll expand. I don't know. I'm going to extend this one. We're going to see. We're going to pull. We're going to go Dr. Phil on this person. And then we're going to find out what actions they're going to take towards you. We're going to find out what the hell specifically they're afraid of. And we're going to get you some advice. We're going to do all of that. But first, I'm going to pull some universe cards. Is there anything else Pisces needs to know about this connection besides perhaps run for the goddamn hills? In my opinion. This person's... This is similar to the energies update I did for you before, but it's it's closer to them actually just coming in now. The energies are changing. I only do energy updates when they change, so this is not the same. But it's the same shit. You know, Self-serving kind of thing. It's a very self-focused person. Bottom of the deck first, five of wands. This person's coming with some baggage. The chariot and the judgment, but they're coming. <laughs> And the universe also wants you to know at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, you're better than this. So make sure they come right. I'm telling you right now. I know. You, uh, when I say you're better than this or you're better than them, I mean you're at a higher frequency than they are. Or like the kids say today, higher vibration. You're a higher vibration. Do not bring yourself down to this person's level of vibration. This false victory, self-fooling kind of crap. They're coming. The chariot. A little chatty Kathy. It's going to be a very pentacle -y conversation. Very practical. Straighten some things out. Right here. Five of Wands. Straightening out misunderstandings. Things along those lines. But judgment tells me off of the chariot that it's, it's happening. This is resurrection. It's coming around in its cycle. It's, it's ripe. 
It's ripe right now for communication to get all this shit straightened out and hopefully from there move things on to a more cup sort of thing, a more emotional kind of thing. But this person's going to need to learn to express emotions and not claim victory when they don't. Okay? Metaphorically speaking, this person needs to learn to not need to get drunk to talk about how much they love someone. I don't need to take a sip of whiskey to tell my wife, I love you. I can do it, cl I can do it straight. It's not a big deal. Mm. We're going to pull on this person. I'm going to go all Dr. Phil on this person. There's a link for the extended in the description. So you, it's good, it's good information for you. I'm doing it for me because I learn from doing these readings. I'm here to help people. I feel your pain. I got deep empathy. I know how you feel. I know how everyone I stand next to or do a reading for feels. I feel your energy or the static energy right here that I'm pulling on. Or pulling for, I should say. I'm pulling on the incoming energy. But I'm also here to learn. So if you want the extended, it's there. You can watch me learn and you can learn a thing or, th a thing or two as well, which will help you out when this person shows up. So, if you want it, it's there. Link's in the description. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Careful of this person. Don't bring yourself down to their level. All right? You're a very emotional person. You're a Pisces. You just be you. Let them be them. And if that's not right for you, send them packing. But it doesn't look like they got any choice. It looks like they're rolling in. When the universe decides you're going in, you're going in. Just like my father chucking me in the damn lake when I was a kid. No, nope, you're going in. Pick me right up. There you go. Uh, that's about it. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who shares. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I'm going to pull it right now. Good luck, Pisces.